Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 just got released, so of course, I had to buy the airsoft guns to match the ones in the game. And in today's video, not only are we going to be unboxing them and testing them out as usual, we're actually going to go head to the field and play with them and also give them away. So with that said guys, let's jump straight in the video and check out our very first airsoft gun from the brand new game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Alright guys, so the first airsoft gun of the day comes in at $30, and this guy in MW3 is known as the WSP Stinger. The real life version of this guy is the MIM Micro Uzi. And then the airsoft name is pretty simple. This is just known as the IWI, uh, kind of like a tactical airsoft Uzi however, and it is licensed by Umarex. But as you can see at this lower price bracket, this guy is coming in just basically a little plastic box. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy and check it out. Oh boy. Woo. Ooh, there comes the magazine. All right, let's uh, rip this guy out and uh, talk about some of its features. So as you probably guessed, this thing is basically made from all plastic, but it does have some metal parts, weirdly enough, for the price. It does have a metal fire select, a magazine release, this weird little handle where you actually cock this guy back. Weirdly enough, that is metal, but not the other part of the mechanism, so I'm not sure why they did that. Also, the little swivel mechanism to lock back the stock. That is right, it has a foldable stock and a little sling point right there. And then I think the last thing that is metal on this guy, obviously besides these screws actually holding this thing together, is actually the trigger right there. But like I just mentioned it does have a foldable stock so all you have to do is actually pull the stock downward and then that will actually make it able to swivel backward like this and then lock it back into place right there. The stock is obviously a little wobbly, but honestly for this price point, I actually was expecting a little worse. A little quirky thing about this guy is actually when you come to the fire select, there is three different modes, but only basically two work. Or I guess two do kind of the same thing. And then if we take out the magazine, let's go ahead and check that out. It's basically a full plastic magazine. You put the BBs down in this little latch right there, close that up. It's really cool, it has this little like pin sticking out and actually if you push it downward, that'll actually unlock the little spring mechanism. So when the BBs are actually loaded up, it'll be able to actually fire them from the top right there. Another the weird thing about this guy is it has this little like button stuck at the back right here and you can actually press it and uh it's kind of gets stuck sometimes I'm not really sure what the heck that's for um it's pretty weird but you'll notice when I like you know cock it back and shoot it it'll obviously work with the uh like button pressed in but then when I don't press it in make sure it's not pressed in and when I still cock it back and shoot it it still works so I'm not sure what the point of that is all right we got 0.20 bbs loaded up let's go ahead and see what this guy's shooting at all right, nothing crazy. It looks like this guy is shooting at 176.3 FPS with 0.29 joules. All right, for this guy, let's start out at 50 feet. Okay, if I aim directly at the center, it goes right over. I'll aim directly at the lower part. There we go. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, over to the left there. This guy's definitely shooting way to the left. All right, not too bad. All right, so we did get a group of four on the target, not too bad. Actually, two in the red, almost on the yellow, too, for one of them, so not too shabby. We got one on the blue, one on the white, and we got a group of two up here, two over there, and one up there. So overall with this guy, eh, it could be worse. For each gun in today's video, I'm also going to have a special challenge before I give it away. All right, people, the rules to this one are simple. Basically, the first person to get me out gets this gun. <laughs> Let's try to see if we can actually get some people out with this thing, because it's literally a $30 spring gun, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, at least it shoots. All right. Okay, might be people here. Oh, team, team, team. I don't think I'm allowed to shoot through that. I have no idea. Watch your net. Watch on your net. Wait, can, can I, sh I can't shoot the hole, right? Oh, I have no idea, mate. All right. Dude, if I get someone out with this, bro, that'd be insane. Ooh. Uh oh, I'm so f I'm so f I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, I'm actually getting killed. Yes! What the f? Let's go. I need to reload, I need to reload, I need to reload. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh boy. Dude. I'm actually getting so hot. <laughs> hey, nice shot. Hey, I'm actually giving away guns to people that get me out today and you actually got the first one. Oh, for real? It's Dude, just a $30 what? gun, but yeah, it's, it's just something, you know? Oh. That's it, yeah. 
Did you look today? <laughs> All right, we got a big boy box up next. This guy is known in the game as the Lockwood 680. And then of course the real steel version is known as the Remington 870. And then the airsoft version or the one I got right here is called the Double Eagle M870. This guy is coming in at $121. Ooh, pretty nice. Okay, so in the box, it looks like we have a little bag of BBs, pretty much always included. We also got a little speed loader here, which is very handy when loading up our airsoft shells. It looks like it comes with three different little shells, so that's very nice. And then also I got a little cleaning rod, and of course the airsoft shotgun itself, and a pretty cool little owner's manual. What is this guy doing? He's stealing, bro. So this guy's actually mostly made from a full metal construction with these outer shells, the whole outer barrel, the actual body itself is metal, the top rail, iron sights, and the trigger guard and trigger itself, as well as a little button and the actual latch where you put in the shotgun shells as well. Majority of the plastic construction pretty much comes from the bolt action up here and then also the stock too. But other than that, it's pretty much fully metal, so not too bad. You got a little bridge with a little white dot in the front and then a little tiny ring in the back. Pretty nice little iron size for a shotgun. This guy does come with individual little shotgun shells which actually load up in the bottom, so there is a little button by the trigger right there. You press that, the little latch comes undone. Then you take the little shell and you put it in like so. All right, party people, it is shotgun time. Let's see what this guy's chronographing at. And this flap definitely does not want to stay closed. Bruh, what are you doing? Oh, wait, what the heck? This guy actually shoots three BBs per shot? Wait, what? Maybe there's like a secondary barrel system with three different barrels like way back here. Because at the end, it just looks like there's one hole. So that's weird. For some reason, it always has like one BB to skyrocket up just in a straight line. I have no idea why it does that, but for the other two BBs with the actual iron sights itself, actually not too inaccurate. We even have one on the yellow right there. So for the consistency and accuracy at 50 feet, definitely not too shabby. It looks like we got a nice little gripping right here. All right, next up it's shotgun time. Let's see what we can do. And the challenge for this guy is basically the first person I kill gets it. Flap keeps coming down, bro. What are you doing? You got one drop, brother. Dude, this flap hates its life. Okay, okay. Here we go. Is that a guy? Oh, f I can't even, okay, the thing with this, I can't even see the BBs are going, bro. I got eight, seven or eight more shots left. Left-handed shotgun, let's get this bread. Oh, 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 oh. All right. All right, all right, all right. So far, still alive. Oh, is that guy enemy? Here I go. I guess this guy be crazy. Ready? Oh, he got me. All I have to do is get one kill. I think I have like two shots left or something, dude. This is not looking good. Oh, nice, nice. Actually, I'm giving away guns today if people give me out and you actually won the shotgun. Oh, really? I'm serious, yeah. You want it? Sure. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Thank you. What, and also, what's your name? yeah, I got, I'm, I'm Cameron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And also, you I got too. shell and another shell. <laughs> what, you're being serious? Yeah, I'm dead, I swear. Do you know who he is? <laughs> good luck, good luck. <laughs> All right, I was supposed to give that shotgun away if I kill someone, but I just like wanted to give it to him. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, all right. And this guy comes in at about $300. In MW3, this guy is known as the Renetti. But there's something a little bit special about this because as you can see right here, this is a little bit of a big box for a pistol. The real steel version is called the Beretta M92 and it has the CAA Ronnie kit. But obviously this is the airsoft version. So obviously the real steel one is a little bit different, but pretty much the same thing. Ooh, that looks so cool. So if you made it far enough in MW3 and you upgrade your Renetti, you can actually get this really cool like carbine kit, which is what we have right here. But let's go ahead and take out this little monster. This thing is absolutely insane. There's so many really cool features about this guy. Let's go over that right now. It's got a full middle rail on top as well as two side rails right there. So you could put whatever you want, flashlights, lasers, optics. You have this really cool grip up front. If you press that little button in, you can actually take this little grip out. And then now you pretty much have like a uh, 
makeshift foregrip, so pretty cool. And then to get this guy to actually extend from its fixed position, there is a little button on the back of the stock right there. All you have to do is press that, and then it'll extend all the way back right there. So now you kind of have like a little makeshift like submachine gun almost. And weirdly enough too, you actually have a little wheel where if you actually spin that back there, you can actually have a fully adjustable cheek pad as well. So that actually rises and lowers at your will. We actually have two fully included iron sights at the top, and there's a little button on the side of them. When you press that, they actually pop up, which is really cool. And you're probably wondering, how do you actually get this guy to load up? Well, there's actually little charging handles on either side where you cock it back. There is also a full little safety right there. So that is on safe and that is off safe when you see the red little dot. But let's go ahead and now talk about the magazine that comes with this guy. It is a full gas blowback magazine and it is powered by CO2. So there is the huge little Allen key thing that you actually have to spin that and then get the CO2 cartridge in there. And then this guy is also a double stack magazine. So this guy probably holds about 25 to 30 shots. All right, real quick, before we actually go on to the chronograph and shooting test, let's go ahead and test out the real cool of this bad boy. And it's powered by CO2, so I'm pretty pumped. I think this thing might shoot pretty cool. All right. Oh, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty stable, honestly. All right, looks like we got about 318.7 FPS with 0.94 joules. All right, now we got this guy switched to full auto. Let's see what that RPS is at. <laughs> this thing is sick. All right, looks like we got about 18.1 rounds per second. That's pretty crazy. All right, well, that was my bad for this shot right here. I was just kind of seeing where the hop-up was gonna go, but wow, the rest of the shots, definitely a super solid grouping. We got four actual ones in the red and a couple in the blue as well. Let's actually go back another 35 feet and test this guy out a little bit further at 85 feet and see if this guy will still keep up with that consistency. Okay, so uh, as you could see, a couple shots I was aiming a little too low, but damn, for the rest of these shots, this is a pretty solid grouping for about 85 feet with this guy. Definitely not bad performance. Let's see how fast I can shoot a whole magazine of semi-automatic. Now let's test this guy out on some full auto now. <laughs> That's sick, man. This little guy packs a punch. All right, now we got something a little more serious. All right, guys, the challenge with this guy is the fifth person I kill gets it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, shit, y'all scared me. Yeah. All right, that's one kill down. Oh, let's go, second kill. I got lucky on that one. All right. Oh, is that Emmy? Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. Woo. Nice, nice. That was pretty good. Got three kills. Two more to go. How many shots do I have? Okay, I have like half a mag. Not too bad. We can do this. Jeez, that guy's shooting, bro. Let's go. Okay, one more kill. How many shots do I have left? Oh god, I have like two shots. Okay, I'm gonna have to really plan these out. Okay, I'm gonna go for this guy. I get him? Will I run out, BB? No. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> dude, dude, last shot. I'm not even kidding. Look at the bolts back. That's crazy. I think it was this guy. Oh. Hey! I'm actually giving away guns to people that I shoot today and you actually won this thing. Oh, what? I swear. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's sick. It's got like a $200 pistol and it's like a $100 kit in it. Oh, it's sick. So and it's like, it's CO2. Yeah, it's, like time. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> I can help you like carry it, but. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. But yeah. Do you want me to just like throw over there for you or? Oh, sure. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's cool. sick. But uh, yeah, it comes with like a little mag and then it's pretty cool. It's like dry firing, but it's pretty cool. Dude, yeah, it was literally my, my last shot in this mag. I got you. <laughs> I was lucky. All right. I'll put it right here though. Okay, yeah, thank you, you so much. Yeah, okay. It's like my first time. So. Dude, of course. Oh, it's really? That's <laughs> sick. First, first, second, first time. Oh, really? Okay, that's yeah. sick, man. Congrats. Oof. All right, this is a heavy boy up next. The first airsoft rifle of the video. This guy in MW3 is known as the MTC 556. And the real so version is called the CZ805 brand. And this guy is properly licensed, so you get to put that on there, which is really cool. And then the airsoft version is pretty much called the same thing, and it's made by ASG. So. All right.
Okay, this thing actually looks really nice, super cool. Okay, so the owner's manual, of course, ASG provides like these crazy big manuals. It's actually crazy, it has a warning about how actually if you hold your airsoft gun at a 90 degree angle, you can actually like curve the BBs because of the hop up is turned on all the way. I actually knew this guy at a field where I used to play as a kid, and this guy actually used to do that. He actually used to try to curve the BBs into buildings or around corners, and sometimes it actually works. So there is the magazine right here, but let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. Looks like you have these little things kind of holding it in right here and right there. Ooh. Damn, this thing feels super nice. Wow, okay. This guy kind of looks like some form of like Scar L and like M4A1 and some futuristic alien gun kind of mix. It's definitely a very unique setup. Overall, this guy is super solid and I don't really see anything like wobbling or creaking with this guy. But we actually have black iron sights on the top. Those are actually flip up as well. So if you press the buttons on the side, those actually flip up. And actually weirdly enough, this actually has the same exact iron sights in that previous airsoft gun we just shot. Pretty cool. So the first thing you're actually gonna notice with this airsoft gun is actually the stock back here. This thing is actually fully foldable. So there is actually a button on this side right here. You just go ahead and press that. And then once you actually press that, this actually will swivel to the right side of the airsoft gun and lock in position. I'm not a huge fan of stocks actually, you know, folding in. It's a pretty cool feature, obviously, if you're gonna like carry this guy around and just for more room in general, but the odds of me actually like folding this airsoft gun in while I'm playing is pretty much zero. I think it's more just for a kind of coolness factor. And obviously if you want more storage when you're actually transporting this guy to and from the airsoft field. It does have some super crazy like cheek riser, like hollow design right here. It's actually pretty interesting, but I guess that's kind of what you would need to actually aim into the iron sight of this guy. And of course this stock is fully adjustable as well to four different positions. So you can lock it all the way back and then you can go to four different positions while you're going all the way up to that fixed position right there. The grip itself is actually pretty unique as well. It's definitely a really weird design. It's kind of like almost thinner than most airsoft rifle grips, but it definitely feels pretty good. It's all plastic weirdly enough, but has these weird little like serrated edges on the side and the back right there, but definitely makes it pretty comfortable while you're holding this guy. And then if we actually cock that back, we can actually go and see the fully adjustable hop up on that side right there. And then also the fire select is even kind of interesting. I've never seen obviously like a design look like this. Obviously it's got full auto and semi, just like a standard airsoft rifle, but the actual look of it is pretty unique. Never seen something like that before. And it does have a little ambidextrous mag release system. So on this side, there is a little button where your actual pointer finger goes right there. And then on this side, you do have a little bigger button with a latch right here. You can actually get the magazine out as well. The last kind of quirky thing I'll actually mention about this guy right now is actually how to put the battery in. It's a definitely a really cool quirky system. So actually to get into the battery location, there is actually a button on the back of this guy and you actually press that in. And then the actual full like stock system actually like slides off off right there. But the rest of this guy, all you have to do is take out the pen fully. And then that guy just kind of falls off. And then weirdly enough, you see the back of the gearbox, but the actual battery slides into this little hole up there where the actual wires are hiding. It's really hard to see on probably on camera, but there's actually a little spot right here for this like long stick LiPo battery to actually fit. So it's a very quirky system to get the battery here. So it's kind of cool. You still are able to use the full thing and kind of hide the battery fully, which is really cool with an airsoft gun. But the only con is obviously the lack of battery space. This magazine has a pretty aggressive look to it. It has some cool little trades on the side. It is a full high cap of magazine. So you do actually twist this guy up to feed in BBs, but it's real weird with this actual like magazine, there is a little like loading system. Usually you just like slide that open, but this guy, you actually have to like push it upward and then the back actually has a system that unlatches and then you're able to open it up like that. So it's a definitely a little quirky system, but it pretty much functions like a normal high cap airsoft magazine. Oh, there's a cat. But you might want to move my guy. This is not a safe place for you, my friend. Bruh. Yeah, leave boy. Normally it'd be fine, but this is not a safe place for you, my friend. It keeps looking back at me like it wants me to follow it. I feel like I'm in like a video game or something. It's crazy. I feel like that's the main character and he's just like, follow me, my friend. This is the path. <laughs> well, at least he's gone now. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Ooh, okay, we got 344.3 FPS with 1.1 joule. Well, that one's a 425, what the heck? 422. Okay, so for some reason that first one was a dud, but so it's actually pretty interesting. Out of the box, this guy is shooting above 400 FPS with 0.20, so that's pretty hot. Let's go ahead and do full auto now and test it out. Damn, that's pretty good. So 20.4 rounds per second. You already know this guy's gonna absolutely kill that 50 foot shooting test, so we're gonna scoot right back to the 85 foot shooting test. Boing! That was a weird spring sound. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty solid result. Pretty much everything on the target. I did a oopsie daisy shot on the uh, top right there, barely missing it, but all the rest are easily on the target. I think I can do one more test and shoot way faster and get a better grouping as well though. Trigger response on this guy's actually pretty good too. 
All right, I was right. We got a little bit better of a grouping and we got one on the yellow right there. So not too shabby. And we were shooting way faster as well. So that's very nice. Let's check this full out on the target as well. Okay, damn, 20 RPS is definitely not slow. All right, for this bad boy, the challenge is to get 10 kills and then whoever is my 10th kill gets it. Oh boy. I can't see at all where these views are going. Oh, we'll just have to guess. <laughs> oh, I got him. This thing's actually pretty good, damn. Hey, let's go, let's go. Right. Woo, by the car. Oh boy. <laughs> Again? Oh, let's go. Okay, seven more kills to go. Pump shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh, let's go. Six more kills. Oh, okay, five more. That guy's not home. Four. Three. Is he gonna call it or? Hello? There we go. What's he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> I shot him like three times. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, three more. Oh, that was one. All right. That's ten. Hey, Woo. Hey, I'm doing a, excuse me, I'm doing a challenge today where I'm actually yeah. giving away people with guns and you're the 10th person that I shot with this, you actually no. get this gun. Wait, what? Yeah, I swear. You <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, it's like an ASG, uh, like Bren 805 from like the new MW3 that's coming out. No, I'm glad I got shot with this thing. <laughs> what the hell? That's sick. Yeah, you're the 10th person, so you got it. That's Oh, yeah. oh, let's go, thank man. You. Yeah, congrats, man. Thank let's you, go. <laughs> Take care. Oof. All right. We got a bad boy up next. The first submachine gun of the video. And this guy is $430. In MW3, this guy is known as the Rival 9. The real still version is known as the Scorpion Evo 3. And of course, the airsoft version is known as the ASG CZ Scorpion Evo 3A1. Pretty plain box, but kind of cool little simplistic graphics around here. Just kind of a full black box. And oh, we got a whole bunch of crazy warnings on the back. Woo! Ooh, and of course, I got this in a special color as well to match the one in the game. Super professional little like uh, owner's man. Wow, that's super nice. And of course, here is the airsoft gun itself. So this thing is definitely pretty nice. We've had a few of these on the channel before and these things shoot amazingly. So I'm actually really excited to go shoot this guy. And it's really cool. Actually, behind this cardboard box, we even have more facts about the airsoft gun itself. And there is an actual like HPA one you can get. So there is a little instructions about that. But yeah, pretty cool little like instructions behind the box. And it does look like ASG actually provides these little iron sights. I'm not sure why they actually didn't put it on there, but maybe it's just easier to like box it up or something like that without putting the iron sights on, but that's kind of quirky. They include iron sights, but just don't put them on the gun. So I didn't get a crazy amount of time to use this in the beta when I was playing it for MW3, but now when this video goes out, the probably whole game is out too. So uh, I'm definitely gonna be using this thing a lot more, but from what I heard, this is definitely one of the better submachine guns in the game so far. This guy is a full plastic construction, so it's a nice little lightweight platform. That makes it easy to actually maneuver this guy like a proper submachine gun and move around the field definitely a lot faster. I wouldn't really want this thing to be full metal definitely. One of the really cool features about this guy is the fire slug. As you can see, there's actually four different modes for this guy. There is safe, there is semi-automatic, three round bursts, and full auto for this guy. So we're actually to take the magazine out. It's pretty interesting. Actually, the mag release system is ambidextrous, but it's actually right by the trigger down here. So there it is right there. Like you can see me wiggling it around. That's actually how you take out the magazine. And you have a little bolt function right here that actually pulls back the bolt and actually does lock in place to actually expose that little hop up in that little window right there. It's definitely a little quirky hop up. Usually hop ups are a little like wheels or kind of dials, but this one's kind of like a little knob where you turn it. So it's a definitely a little weird style, but I guess it works. But like I mentioned, the bolt actually locks in place, which is nice when you're actually adjusting the hop up. But you actually can put that down with this little latch right here on the side. 
And a really cool little feature you guys will see in the shooting test as well. This guy has a really cool little system where actually when you run out of BBs, you actually cannot shoot another shot. So it kind of replicates, you know, the real steel one. So pretty cool little system with that. Kind of just makes it a little more realistic when you're playing. So like that Brent 805, it does have a full folding stock, but like I was saying with that gun, I'm not sure when you would ever use a like assault rifle and fold the stock in besides like transportation. But with some machine guns, it makes a little more sense just because they're a little bit smaller, lighter weight, and a little bit more for CQB. So I guess it does make a little bit more sense with a folding stock with something like this. So they went with a front wire design, but it's kind of quirky. You basically have to take this little piece and spin it off, and then you actually have to spin another piece off at the front right there. You actually have to slide off the front assembly, and then there is the little Dean's battery right there, and you actually can put a battery in this little tiny slot. So like the 805, it does hide the battery very efficiently and kind of has a little clean look to it, but the con is definitely the battery space of this guy. But that's pretty much it, guys. This guy is very simple, but definitely a very solid airsoft gun. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy and test it out. Ooh, that's like a satisfying pop of this guy. Looks like we got 409.7 FPS with 1.56 joules. This guy obviously has three on burst. I'm curious how fast I can trick the corner guy to thinking we're actually shooting full auto with three on burst. So let's try that out. <laughs> Looks like we got about 7.2 rounds per second with three round burst. Let's do the full auto now. Definitely not too shabby, but definitely a lot less than that 805. Looks like we're getting about 10.6 rounds per second. And of course, like I was mentioning before, if you're out of BBs, you can't actually pull the trigger anymore. So pretty cool little system. All right, this guy obviously is a submachine gun, but I think this guy is pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and start this guy off at the 85 foot shooting test. Looks like you got two missing at the target down there. One barely etching on, grabbing onto the target. <laughs> but all the rest, a very pretty nice spread out grouping alongside the target. Definitely not too bad for a submachine gun. Let's check out the semi-automatic response now. Let's try some three on burst on the target now. Don't worry, I didn't forget about that full auto. Let's go ahead and test that out. Bruh. All right, for the Scorpion Evo, the challenge is to get 10 kills. Woo, baby. Oh, nice. All right, one down. Oh no, the lag. Why didn't it work? Bruh. It didn't shoot. Got him. Oh. Nice. In a bad spot, one mag in a dream. Let's get this bread. Oh no, it didn't shoot, bro. What the? Holy, he's all the way over there. If I can get this guy, I'm gonna give him this gun. Ready? Guess not. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know the BBs are going, bro. Oh. Oh. This gun's so hard to aim. Dude, I cannot see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude, I cannot see anything. You know what? I might try this thing with uh, no stock on. Aim like that. Damn, this thing's hard. I need a red dot side 100% with this thing. No ideal, mate. No ideal. Where is this guy at? Oh. Oh my god, I got him. Let's go. I think I got that guy too. Yes.
All right. Well, unfortunately, that is the whistle for the end of all the games for today. And we didn't quite hit our challenge goal of getting 10 kills. But of course, we're still going to give this thing away. So let's go find someone to give it away to. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? I, I follow you on YouTube. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm still giving this away to somebody. You want it? That yeah, I swear. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 I swear. Thank you. Today's like Modern Warfare 3 guns, and this was like the oh, yeah. one from. Yeah, yeah. So I gave away the 805 brand. I gave away this gun. Oh, here's the Mag 2. Oh, thank you. And then, um, oh, there's a battery in there too. It fits. Okay. I don't know if you know how to get the battery out of this thing. Oh, it's no. kind of weird, but I'll show you in a sec. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty sick though. I really like that thing. It is, you definitely need either uh, <laughs> a red dot sight yeah. or a tracer because it's super hard to see at the steel. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah, of course, man. What was your name? Teo. I'm Teo. Okay. I'm Cameron. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks for watching the videos too. Oof, all right, so coming in at the grand finale, this guy is $420. This is another assault rifle, but unlike that 805 Bren, this guy is not powered by electricity. This guy is powered by gas. So this guy is a fully gas blowback airsoft rifle. So when I was actually playing the MW3 beta, this is definitely the gun I was using the most. This guy is known as the MCW, and this is definitely gonna be one of the best assault rifles in the game for MW3. The real life version of this guy is known as the Bushmaster ACR, and the airsoft version is known as the PTS slash KWA Masada a gas blowback rifle. And if you are an OG Call of Duty fan, you guys will recognize this gun from the actual original MW2 where it was known as the ACR. We got some little cool facts about it right here as well as some logos throughout the box. Ooh, looks like we have the little warranty from KWA right there, as well as the gas blowback magazine. Damn, this thing is heavy, damn. It looks like we also got an included feeding rod right there. Some random little parts, and of course, this is the airsoft gun itself. Definitely a pretty sick rifle. So this guy would probably be my primary assault rifle when I play the real game when it comes out. I was definitely using this guy primarily in the beta. This guy was absolutely shooting lasers. So hopefully they don't nerf this guy too much in the actual real game. But this guy is fully gas blowback like I mentioned. So every time you shoot this guy, the bolt actually come back like that. Obviously mimicking that real steel bolt functionality definitely makes it a lot more fun to play with this guy. So a very common theme with today's video is a lot of folding stocks. You actually have a button right there actually to fold the stock and it goes to the right side of the gun right there. But what's really nice about gas blowback rifles is you don't have to really worry about about any wires back here or anything like that. So you do have just like a clean little like folding stock back here. This guy is definitely split pretty much 50-50 with the actual plastic versus metal design with this guy. The whole upper part of this guy is metal as well as the bolt system, but the full grip up here as well as the lower and the actual stock itself are all made from plastic. The iron sight back here is pretty simple. You have a big dot and a small dot for the rear iron sight, and then the front one is a little more interesting. It's actually built into the airsoft gun itself, and there's a little button right there. We actually press that in, it actually flips up right there. Definitely a pretty interesting design they went with, but it's pretty cool that they're actually able to kind of hide it in the like front section right here. So when you actually layer it down, you don't really see it on the top rail right there. So pretty cool. This guy is a pretty big airsoft rifle as you can see, but the weight of this guy is actually pretty nice. The one quirky thing I'll say about this guy is actually how hard it is to like flip from safety, semi-automatic and full auto. It's just like weirdly so hard. I don't know why they make it that hard. It's definitely satisfying when you get it into place, but it almost takes two hands sometimes to actually, damn to actually get it to uh, go to different positions. I really like the actual trigger for this guy. It's a very nice little feeling. It is not too heavy, not too light. It has a really nice little click to it. And because this guy is gas blowback, you'll have actually extra space in the actual grip right there, where normally with airsoft rifles, you have like a motor in here, obviously with the electronic ones, but this one obviously is fully gas, so there's nothing in there. And when you take this out, it actually has a full little plastic compartment with a little rubber cap at the top, so you actually could put stuff in there. I made jokes about this in the past, but you could put like M&Ms or Skittles or whatever you want in this guy, so it's a pretty funny little uh, compartment right there that they included. And one thing I'll say too is these magazines are so heavy. They are the uh, EPM PTS like gas blowback magazines, and uh, damn. Yeah, these things are so heavy. It weighs like, must be like a pound and a half or two pounds for just a magazine. It's probably the heaviest like airsoft M4 magazine I've ever felt by far. Definitely an interesting magazine. You put the gas down there and I think this guy holds either 30 shots or 50 shots per magazine. I also have to tell you guys too that um, I actually had this gun about like a year or two ago and uh, for some reason the full auto just like won't work. I've tried everything. I've taken this thing apart and tried everything, but uh, no luck. But don't worry, the Simar Mac is super sick. Woo! <laughs> It's actually a pretty quick trigger response for a rifle. Not too shabby. So like I mentioned before, foil unfortunately does not work, but let's see what the semi Mac is shooting at. All right, so for that shot, it looks like we got about 407.8 FPS with 1.55 joules. All right, let's check it out. All right. 
right, this guy's definitely a very nice airsoft gun, super unique, very nice construction, and a very pretty boy. But does the performance hold up? Well, according to the target, looks like you got a miss over here to the right, a group of three down here missing the target, as well as a random one up there. But looks like you got a super solid gripping of four right there on the target. Obviously, gas ball like rifles, I don't trust as much as normal, you know, electric rifles. They're just not as consistent, but they're definitely way more fun to play with. Let's actually see how fast I can finish off the rest of the airsoft BBs in this magazine on semi Mac. Let's see how fast this guy really shoots. Pretty fast, damn. Not too bad for a gas like rifle. <laughs> So I was gonna actually go ahead and play with this on the field and give it away to you guys, but uh, yeah, now I don't really wanna give away something that's like this broken, so uh, I'll try to, you know, maybe fix it and give it away another time. If you're a regular watcher of the channel, you guys know I pretty much just unbox them, test them out, talk about them, chronograph and do a shooting test on all the airsoft guns. But in this video, you saw I actually went ahead and played with them and gave them away as well. So if you like this format, leave a like and a comment down below and saying you want more of these. I'll definitely do way more of these if you guys like this format. But that basically does the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.